You are back on the Mountain Morning Show. Time for a little Craft Lake City. We've been talking with some folks about the festival all this week, and I am particularly excited about our next two guests. I have in studio with me Liz Olivares and her son Miles. How are you guys this morning? <laughs> Great. Doing good. Well, thanks for coming here. Uh, I'm really excited to talk more about Craft Lake City. Uh, Liz, you are the GM for West Elm. You guys uh, are involved with Craft Lake City and have a lot of fun workshops going on that we'll talk about in just a moment. But your son, Miles, you are in the Sumo Bot competition. This is so exciting to do. This is the, this is the first year they're doing this, right? Yeah. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a new competition they have going on. Tell me about what is Sumo Bot? What's the whole purpose of the competition? Well, the whole purpose of it is you have this little robot, and they have sensors. Uh -huh. And this one up here, they detect where the robot is and try and push them off. Oh, cool. And these ones on the bottom, they detect the white line so they don't get pushed off the board or oh, run off cool. the board. And that's the purpose. You, you try and push the other robots off. Uh -huh. So you have no, no control over them personally. You nope. just kind of have to let them have at it, and hopes, hopefully you construct them in a way that makes them the most competitive. Yeah, tell me how you put this thing together. Of course, you guys have some help when you put these together. Tell me about some of the stuff you got there. Um, so well, you have the sensors. Yeah, we have the sensors and we have this kind of scoop thing. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of get- Scoop off the other under robots. <laughs> push it down on the wheels. Cool. And then we have these wheel things that we made. Uh-huh. And this plate. Got and a lot of stuff going on there. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. And you actually, you were telling me you, you want to be an engineer uh -huh. when you grow up. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. So this is right up your alley. You probably love yeah, doing this stuff. Awesome. And did you like playing with Legos? When yeah. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where it all began, right? With uh -huh. Legos. <laughs> and now you're putting together stuff like this. So, so how many robots uh, will be doing the competition? Do you know? Six. About six? Yeah. Wow. And so do they put them on just two at a time? And whoever pushes that one off, the next one comes in yep. sumo style. <laughs> <You> just, <laughs> To go down to the last one. Well, that's pretty exciting. When can we watch the competition, Miles? Um, it's, is it on it's Saturday? Tomorrow. Saturday, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I believe the time is when for? 12 to 4. 12 tomorrow. to 4. Yeah, at Craft Lake City. Cool. Awesome. Well, this is so exciting. What, what do you enjoy most about uh, participating in the Sumo Bot competition? There's a lot of fun stuff you guys get to do. I just think it's fun that we get to build a robot that uh -huh. we can have it's just kind of cool that is cool that's something i mm -hmm. i mean i played with legos when i was younger but i've never done anything like that we have some b-roll that we're going to show you guys here to give you an idea of, of kind of uh how the whole competition works are are you nervous do you think you'll do a good job i think i'll do good we got a little bit life into the motor oh it's yeah kind of quick it's fun. <laughs> and i wanted you to share with everyone too uh your shirt the day the earth stood still is uh there's a robot in this story and you named him after the same thing, right? Yeah. Which is? Gort. Gort. That's a pretty <laughs> excellent robot name. I like it. Cool. All right. Well, so that's going on on Saturday. You can check out Craft Lake City online, and they have a, a listing of the events and such. But let's talk about some of the workshops that West Elm is doing. What's yeah. happening? We actually par have partnered with Craft Lake City um, since we opened last October. Um, we're a modern furniture store. We're in City Creek Center. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we really believe in, though, is supporting local artists. So Craft Lake City has been a great partner. What we do is we feature the local artists in the community, have them come in on a monthly basis, teach a, teach a workshop, and you know, it's just a great way to kind of connect with the community, give some exposure to local artists, and give something for our customers to really interact um, with the artists in the store. That's fantastic. And let's yeah. mention a couple. You have soap carving uh, with uh, Subin Dogenes. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, what's this one about? So that one, you know, we'll do soap. So she'll bring in soaps, and then you can sign up for the class, mm -hmm. and she'll teach you how to do, you know, soap carving, make it individual, and you know, really come out with something that you can take away and learn a new skill too. That's which really is fun. cool. And the, these all Great take gifts. place at, at West Elm <laughs> uh -huh. in the evening. Usually, is that correct? Yeah. From seven to nine. Yeah. Then we also have uh, the beaded napkin holders with Mia Volkomer. 
Yeah. That's kind of cool. I've never thought of really doing a class for this, but it's one of those creative little areas of crafting that, for instance, Craft Lake City loves to bring out these local artists. Tell me about what we can expect from this one yeah. with uh, the beaded napkins. So that one, you know, th she's really going to come in, teach what her craft is, and but it's something that you can really take to your own home and use for entertaining. You know, out the holidays are just around the corner, too. So Get some beaded napkin holders yep. <laughs> out on your table. That always makes it more special if you're the one that makes it. Well, that, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. What, what is it like for, for West Elm to be connected with these local artists and especially with Craft Lake City? It's a, I mean, your furniture store. It's kind yeah. of an interesting partnership. Yeah, yeah. Well, we definitely want to be a part of the community and, you know, really just getting to know um, the local area. We want to support local artists, local shops, and, and be a part of that. So that's it's exciting. been a fantastic partnership. Very good, cool. So how do you think Miles is going to do tomorrow? <laughs> oh, I think Miles and Gort are going to do really well. Gort, I like how you do refer to him as, yes. as his real name. This is awesome. <laughs> what a cool thing. These are actually heavier than I had anticipated. This front thing right there, that says you've got a lot of weight. Stick it out. But I guess you kind of have to to push the other robots off. What other types of designs do they have? Are they pretty different from robot to robot? Um, it depends. That's a good because it can get under the robot, uh -huh. and what it does, the robot pushes down on the back wheels more, so it has more grip. Ah, cool. Yeah. I think there's another competition that has Lego bots and all of that stuff too. So there's a couple of different categories. Yeah, so nice. There'll be quite a few different robots, you know, uh, competing and on display too. Very cool. So what kind of engineer do you want to be? Do you know what kind? Um, I Just don't know. engineer in general. Anything yeah. that has to do with making stuff like this. Awesome. Well, very cool. Miles and Liz, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Let's remind everyone uh, of the hours for, for Craft Lake City. It's this week and all day tomorrow, right? What's our website? Yeah, for Craft Lake? so you can go to yeah, craftlakecity.com and check it out there. And then also the hours today actually starts at 5 p.m. and goes till 10. And then tomorrow is from 12 to 10. Excellent. So lots Very of fun good. artists and a great science exhibits that they really incorporated this year too. Cool. Besides robots, there's 3D printers and all sorts of cool stuff. Ah, and that's what I love is that Craft Lake City has really expanded the idea of yeah. what is crafting because many of us, I mean just to take an example like for beaded napkin holders, that's more in my realm of thinking of what is crafting, but it's really creating things with your hands like this and some of those other ideas that you mentioned as well. So it's yeah. really exciting to see all these different members of the community and kids coming out to support this. So yeah. thank you very much, the two of you, for coming. Uh, good luck at the competition. We're actually going to be uh, at Craft Lake City this weekend, so maybe we'll catch you there. Okay? <laughs> we'll see you. Take You get a trophy. What do you win, actually? I forgot to ask you that. Do you know? <laughs> Just bragging rights that your robot is the best? <laughs> I think that's good enough. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, we will be right Thanks. back after this quick break. Uh, we're going to be talking about a really awesome race that's coming through Park City. We're going to be speaking with Todd right after this break. Don't go away.